everyone, today we're going to look at the True Meter ADM100 series graphical panel meter and we'll be configuring the unit. So last time we took a look at our unit that we have here and we've powered it up. We've used our uh, 9 volt battery and, and a potentiometer, a 10 turn pot to actually bring that into the unit and display it up on our screen here. Now we're going to uh, communicate to this unit and we do that by using just a standard USB um, printer cable. So it's an AB port and on the back of this unit we can plug this in. It will go right in there. And what we'll do is set that down. We'll actually um, plug this into the computer. And right now we are all set to uh, program our device. So let's uh, let's go to our software, and our software present or uh, gave us an icon on our screen, which is the ADM100 series configurator. And if we double click on it, it will call up our software. It will automatically detect that we have an ADM100 uh, multimeter. Um, attached to this computer. So we'll configure that. And here it is here. We have, uh, let's bring that down. Here's our input signals, voltage, amps, frequency. We're going to be sticking to the voltage. Our scale, so we can scale this unit. So right now it's times one, so it's the exact same as what we're bringing in for voltage. Um, if we wanted 2 or 0.5 or whatever we want for that scalar uh, to be in an offset. Um, then we have our bar graph. Right now it's set for 0 to 600 volts. We'll go 0 to 10 volts. So we'll change that to 10. So you can see here my scale as I uh, percentage. Okay. And we can display peak if we want, but in this case here we'll leave peak as the same. And then display uh, zero if below a certain threshold. So we'll leave that at zero. And let's change our our limited or our decimal places to two because the third one really doesn't matter much on when we're looking at uh, our battery. We can change the message instead of saying volts up on the um, upper left corner here. Let's change it to something else. And let's change that to say nine um, V nine volt to space, and we'll just put a B in there for battery. So we'll say OK. So now our display up in the left hand corner will say nine volt battery. So that's our basic information for our our unit. Now let's. Uh, uh, take a look at the alarm one. In alarm one we have an analog output or a digital output. In this case here what we'll do is we will um, uh, keep to our digital output and what we'll say is when the value is um, below 3 volts what we want to do is change the backlight um, and we'll change the backlight to, to not a flashing red, we'll do a steady red to see that. We can also switch our output to on. And then our show display message, we can actually say uh, low. So that's our message that will display when we get below our 3 volts. Then we can set independently output alarm number 2. Again, we'll say a digital output. We'll switch on uh, output 2. We'll say when we are above. And we can say this is going to be 7 volts. And we'll change our backlight. And our backlight will turn to green, indicating that we have a very good battery. And we'll show our message. And our message will say good. Okay, so now we have our two alarms set up. Now our regular backlight 
this is our default which is white which is what we see currently right now on our display and there are brightness or intensity for our brightness so red kind of seems to be a hard color so that's alarm one so we'll just turn up the intensity a little bit to make uh, that red a little more dominant and alarm two it's going to be green so let's just uh, we'll do up a little bit but not too much so we can play around with this and determine exactly how we want that to operate and with the last thing we can do is take a look at response times and we have it set for fast in our application we're okay with that you can slow things down so that it's easier to as numbers aren't jumping around on you so that's that's everything that we are going to do so let's just go um, we can save that save configuration file and we can save this as our battery and now what we can do is we can write this to our ADM 100 and we'll confirm the overwrite so now we have our our now our only two decimal places we have our 9 volt B it says here and if I increase this actually let's decrease that value and we'll go back down and 3 was our limit so once we hit below 3 it turns red and you can see that red is very uh, um, very uh, bright because our intensity was turned right up so let's go above the uh, 3 goes back to the white and then when we go above the 7 we should then go green indicating it's really good there we go and we left the flashing green on so that's showing us the the flashing green so let's just uh, go back to our configuration here and that was alarm 2 and sure enough there's our flashing we'll leave that steady and then we'll take the alarm 1 and just look at the backlight intensity here turn it down a little bit we'll save that configuration again like that and we can transfer it okay so now we have a steady and you can see up here in the corner we say it's good battery then we lower it down again we go back to the 9 volt battery display message and then we lower it down below the 3 and we go red and up in the corner here we actually see it says low so all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and our, go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.